If you ask him about, you know, if Andrew Thomas is going to start left tackle, he'd probably be like, well, they're still competing. You know, what's going on, New York Giants fans? Let's skip the theatrics. Let's get right to the video. Here is why Wink Martindale, Doug Wink Martindale, is my favorite coach on the New York football Giants coaching staff. Now, I love Brian Dable and I like Mike Kafka, but Wink is hands down my favorite because of answers like this. Answers like this to questions like this. When asked about his rotation at defensive back and his decision to start rookie six round pick Trey Hawkins on one side of the field opposite of rookie first round pick Deontay Banks on the other side of the field and, yes, <laughs> and the fact that we'll probably more than likely see a lineup of Trey Hawkins on one side of the field Deontay Banks on the opposite side of the field and a Dory Jackson playing in the slot he answered the question quite simply by saying you put your three best guys out there you got a chance to put your three best guys out there you put your three best guys out there you know, I think when you go into these games, you want to play, you know, in, in any sub package, you want to play your three best corners. And right now, those are our three best corners. So we, there's nothing, you know, set in stone yet. You know what I mean? And uh, we'll, we'll see how, how it works out. Brian Dable would have never, never given that answer. And most head coaches in the league and offensive coordinators or defensive coordinators in the league wouldn't answer that question quite like that during this portion of the season where it's still heavy competition for almost, I mean, every roster spot, give or take a few. For him to say, these are our three best guys and I'm going to play the three best guys. So of course, we've seen Adoree Jackson play the outside in corner number one or two throughout the course of his career and he was great for us as our number one cornerback last season but the size and physicality that both Deontay Banks offers and Trey Hawkins offers makes them outside cornerbacks like Trey Hawkins is an outside cornerback and if you got Deontay Banks playing one outside and Adoree Jackson playing the other outside you're leaving a guy that's potentially playing like your third best corner off the field because he doesn't fit in the slot so Wink is saying the hell with all of that, rookie or not, Trey Hawkins is going to be our, you know, starting CB number two, and Deontay Banks is more than likely going to be our CB number one, and the Dory Jackson is going to play in the slot. Now, there's going to be some times where they do different coverages and stuff like that, where, you know, if, if you're going, uh, uh, um, you know, more of a, a stacked uh, line, or you're bringing in more safeties, yeah, you'll see probably Deontay Banks opposite a Dory Jackson, opposed to having Trey Hawkins out there or a Dory Jackson in the slot, but he's just saying, hey, these are our three best guys. For him just to step out there and say that, it just spoke volumes to me as a fan, and it just, it just solidified again why Wink is my favorite Giants coach. If Dable would have been asked a question like that, let Dable say it. Daniel Jones is still in the quarterback competition right now. Like, it's still like nothing is set. If you ask him about, you know, if Andrew Thomas is going to start left tackle, he'd probably be like, well, they're still competing, you know. Have you thinking that Matt Parrott still has a chance to, like, compete for the starting left tackle position? All right, guys are still competing. I mean, they're taking it day by day. Wayne just said flat out, these are our three best guys. They're going to be playing. That's it. Got to love them. New York Giants fam, more to come on the Giants for myself and this channel. Let's go Giants. One. Saquon out the backfield for a screen. 50 yards later, touchdown.